This is the lock picking lawyer, and I am about to show you the worst lock in the world. Papa Gleb discovered this lock when he was trying to impression a key for it, and he discovered that he couldn't impression a key, and he investigated to see why that was, and he came to a pretty interesting conclusion, and I'm about to show you that. I just took this lock downstairs and I knocked the rivets off the bottom and let's, uh, let's open this back up again and I will show you what Papa Gleb discovered. There we go. Ain't that a beauty? That is a plastic core. <laughs> I've never seen anything quite like it. So we're gonna have some fun with it. I'm gonna do one out of two things. Well, maybe both of them. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reassemble this lock, take it to the basement where locks go to die and be melted. And I'm gonna stick a screwdriver in it and turn. And I'm wondering if that plastic is soft enough that I can just turn that lock and open it up. But if it doesn't, I'm betting that about 30 seconds with the torch would make that plastic soft enough that, that I could spin that, spin that core. So I'm going to put this thing back together so it, it has its made in China base plate back on, the core inside, and when we start back up we'll be down in the basement and ready to destroy this awful, awful lock. Okay, we're down in the basement. I have taken that cover plate, put it back on the best I can, and we're about to try test number one. No heat at all. I'm just going to stick this screwdriver right there in the lock, get a little bit of leverage, and see if it'll turn. There we go. Oh, who would have? I'll be darned. Okay, we opened the lock, but even better, Take a look at that. We actually just cracked that core. <laughs> okay, we're not getting to the heat test. <laughs> we're not going to be melting a lock tonight. Let me take this back upstairs. I'll take it apart and I'll show you what happened to this piece of garbage. Okay, we're back with a post-mortem for the shortest lock test ever. <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a look at what I found inside of this. First, the pins. I was shocked to find inside of that plastic core, we actually have, you can barely make it out, but those are spool drivers. So we have four security pins in this plastic Chinese lock. Now I'll tell you, I didn't feel them when I picked it open. So uh, take it for what it's worth that those are, those are spooled. But nevertheless, there was, looks like there was some sort of effort. Now let's move over to the core. And when we came in with the screwdriver and turned, you can see right here, oh, uh, right here in the front, we actually cracked the core. Um, I don't know what to make of that. I've never seen, hmm, let me get that up. I've never seen a core crack when you turned it, but there you have it. And finally, over to the awesome plastic body and Bible of this lock. You can see exactly what happened when we put a little bit of pressure on it. The pin stacks deformed. You can see there's you know, just a little bit of def de deformation, but enough to allow the core to turn and actuate the, the locking paws and open up the lock. So here we have it post-mortem on the worst lock ever. Papa Gleb, thank you for sending me the worst lock ever. And uh, to be fair, it was part of a package that had some multi-locks, uh, Dom IX, a whole bunch of other really cool things. Um, <laughs> but frankly, I got the most kick out of this one. That's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.